Captain Tony's personal log. I'm all alone on the bridge. The crew has been abducted. They're down on the planet, and I'm gonna launch some photon torpedoes at the bad guy ship. Yeah, that's just Tony, what I'm gonna- Tony, wake up. Tony, it's time to head it. What? What? Tony, That's not get the aliens. Up. What is You're that? You're dreaming. dreaming. Oh. Ah, jeez, Ricky. I was just about to launch some photon torpedoes. Da. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Come on, Ricky. Hello, Richard from BudgetGuitarist.com. Yeah, we just got a green screen. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. Okay, so today it's all about delays, 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 delays. It's a stupid joke. We're going to go over some different kinds of delays today. I'm using the HX Stomp. Uh, you can use almost any delay. Just about everything I'm going to show you is, is on modern delays. Maybe not everything. The HX Stomp is a beast when it comes to options for delay, as you will see. And so is the, uh, what's it called, the Pod Go, because all the delays I'm going to show you here are also in the Pod Go and in the Helix. Okay, so we're going to start with an old-fashioned trick to make your guitar thicker, a patch I call Thickerer. And so that's where you basically set a delay and you just set it super, super short so that you can't really hear it as a delay and it just makes the sound thicker. So here's without the delay. With the delay. Get the idea? Thicker. -er -er -er. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so here's a stereo delay. This is where you take the dry signal and put it to one side, and then you delay it ever so slightly by like 20, 30 milliseconds, put it to the other side, and it gives you a big stereo sound like this. Okay, here's some slapback. Slapback delay was invented back in, what, the 50s, maybe? I, don't, I have to check with a, a slapback historian to figure that out. But basically, on the older tape machines, the reel-to-reel -reel tape machines, there was a playback head and there was a record head. And there was a trick you could do, and Les Paul used to do this when he did recordings, where... You would, you would have the playback head, you would use the playback head and the record head like as a delay and it would give you this slapback effect which sounded like this. So it's... Slapback. Okay, here's another ancient trick, and the very first time that my, my high school slash college band went in the recording studio, I used this effect. And it's a note doubler, so you play a note, and it plays a note immediately after it. So like, play one, hear one. Actually, you play one, and you hear that one and the next one, so it's, so you can go. I'm playing bum, 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 bum. You 
get the idea, right? It's kind of cool. Doubler. Doubler nothing. And then along came David Gilmore and The Edge and some other people who discovered the dotted eighth delay. And there's a lot of different ways that you can think of this music notation. You could call it a dotted eighth. To me, the best way to think of it is if you think of a group of four sixteenth notes, one E and a, uh, you hit the first note and the delay comes in on the uh, one E and a, uh, right? One E and a, uh, so one E and a. Uh. Right, and so it kind of creates this uh, this funky kind of uh, pattern that goes after what you play. And so, like Gilmore and, and the Edge do stuff like. problem with this, as you can see, is you have to play like right on the beat. If you screw up a little bit, it will not work. Let me try again. So here's what I'm actually playing. You add the delay, and it sounds like. And this is a, a it's a really cool trick. I like it a lot. get the idea. Okay, this next patch I called Brian May because it's something that he does like live in concert. He does something similar to this and this is where you have a longer delay. Right? That kind of keeps repeating. And there's a lot of different ways you can play this. I like to play this as like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I like to play these almost like as half notes, like one, two, three, four, five. Right, so you can do stuff like this. The funny thing about it is, if you hit a clam, you have to hear the clam come back. So you go like. It's 
see it comes back around. Stupid clam. Anyway, um, I'm not Brian May, obviously. Brian May is one of my top two favorite guitar players of all time, and it's it's kind of neat. Um, you can probably go on YouTube and find a video of him live in concert doing something that's like, this is like the kindergarten version. Listen to what he does with it. It's amazing. But anyway, that's a delay effect. This one might be unique to only certain delays. Like I have had delay pedals before and it never had this effect. And I call it arpeggio or arp, right? And so you can choose on HX stomp, you can choose the note value, like quarter notes, whole notes, eighth notes. You can choose the key and you can choose the pan, all kinds of stuff. But basically you hit a note, you get an arpeggio, a brief one. Right? So. cool something to play with there are all kinds of delays inside the hx stomp and the pod go i'm not showing all of them okay the last one that i have to show is this is another older one and this is real simple it's just delay that has a chorus setting you can achieve this effect with a delay pedal and a chorus pedal or if you have a delay that's got a chorus uh ability then you can do this and this is just <laughs> It's just, it's a really good way of like taking the place of keyboards instead of using keyboards to fill up space, you can use something like this. So there you go. That was just some ideas on how to use delays. I have got a link in the description down below where you can download these patches if you want. They're not really super complicated. They're very bare bones because the point was just to demonstrate how the effect worked, right? And I don't know, maybe you found it interesting. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't, you probably didn't watch this far. So I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who are still watching which statistically is about 10% by this point in the video. Anyway, for those 10 percenters, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next Friday at 5.